In this video, we are taking you to Everglades National Park in Florida and to a very special campground, the Flamingo Campground. And what is special about this is it's as far into the Everglades as you can go. Now, we shot this before the stay-at-home orders went into effect, but now that things are easing up a bit, you're going to want to put this spot on your bucket list. Let's take you to the Flamingo Campground, the Everglades National Park. The Flamingo Campground is 38 miles from the entrance. And you go out straight out in the middle of the Everglades. If you really want to experience the Everglades, Flamingo is the campground that you want to go to. Here is our camping spot at Flamingo. It's in pretty much a wide open area. There are some trees around, but uh, largely you're gonna get a lot of sun and it can get pretty warm out here. However, because we're right at the end of the Everglades on Florida Bay, there's usually a pretty good breeze. And uh, in fact, tonight it was 85 in the daytime and they say the temperature is gonna get down into the low 50s. So hence I'm, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, one thing about this campground is uh, cell phone service is limited. There is no Wi-Fi. Uh, Verizon does not work here, only the AT&T network. Uh, I'm pretty happy up on the roof there because I have uh, two systems. Uh, one, the WineGuard uh, Verizon system, and then I also have the uh, Togo AT&T system. Uh, and that's good because I'm using AT&T for the internet. But it's a real nice place. It's very quiet and um, it's all grass. Uh, we're on a concrete slab. It's very flat. And Bo, he loves the grass. He likes to roll around in it. <laughs> yeah, Bo's happy. We don't have a water hookup, but we do have an electric hookup. So if we want to go for a walk and leave Bo in the rig, we can turn on the AC for him if it's needed. There are modern bathhouses, but uh, although they have running water, they do not have hot running water. Uh, there are some solar heaters, you know, that kind of warm the water, but uh, if it's a cloudy day, uh, it might be a bit chilly. And there is also over here a dump, so before you leave, you can, uh, you can empty that black tank. You do have access to clean water. You've got to hook up a hose, turn on the water, you're set. Here's something that you want to watch out for at the Flamingo Campground. Vultures, yes. The uh, campground is habited by a pretty large uh, uh, flock of vultures and they have been known to land on RVs and uh, peck at the windshield wipers, you know, the rubber around the wipers, uh, tires. Uh, they just are kind of a nuisance and they can do some damage. They hang out everywhere perched on top of the restrooms, uh, just looking for something that they can scavenge. And uh, in a campground, there's always something. The campground is at the end of the Florida Everglades, and this is Florida Bay. You know, I think we're going to have great star viewing tonight. It looks like a good night for the stars. I could not believe how big and roomy these campsites are. There is so much space. What a treat. How's the bugs? Bugs are starting to come out, so it's time to go in. I think I got about 15 bug bites on my legs last night. All right. It's nice and cozy. It's 
So one thing you should do at uh, Flamingo is take the backcountry boat tour. Uh, we uh, really enjoyed it. You go up and down this canal, you get to see all the critters, uh, some crocodiles the birds. and the birds. Different birds. But I was struck by how peaceful it is. Very peaceful and, and pretty. I would recommend it. It's uh, 40 bucks a person? $40 a person. And it lasts how long? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Man, it went by like that, didn't it? It did. Out here in this part of the Everglades, you have both fresh water and salt water. This canal right here, uh, this is uh, mostly salt. It's about 80% salt. And thus, the big predators out here are these guys. This is not an alligator. This is a crocodile. This one is about eight feet long. And the folks out on that dock, they're looking at a family of manatees. There are about a dozen of them out there, just coming up, surfacing, playing in the water. The Sanhinga Trail is one of the nicest walks in the Everglades. It's only about a half mile or so, and it's all on a boardwalk. It takes you right up uh, on the, uh, uh, right above the uh, lily pads, and right underneath you, of course, uh, if you look carefully, you'll see them. Gators, lots of them. See this guy right here? Now this is the Florida alligator. Look at his snout. It's not quite as narrow or as long and pronounced as it was on the crocodile we saw. There are a lot of alligators in the Everglades. If you come to the Everglades National Park, don't miss the 8 tenths of a mile Pantinga Trail. It is basically a boardwalk. It's easily accessible, wheelchairs, baby strollers. Anybody can easily walk on it. It is delightful. You look over and you see turtles and gators and all kinds of birds. It is a must see if you come here. A 
couple things you need to know about gators. One, they look pretty lazy, but if they decide to attack, they can move at 20 miles per hour. That's fast. So the National Park Service says, don't get any closer than 15 feet from a gator. Now, on a trail like this, which is really just a boardwalk above the lily pads, you can get actually right above them. They're not gonna jump up and get you, but uh, if you're out on another hiking trail, and you come across the gator, make sure you give it plenty of room. There have been instances where they have attacked. Look how old he is. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Everglades and the Flamingo Campground. Now, if you did so, would you do us a favor? Give us a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And don't forget to click that little bell icon, then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. We're Mike and Jennifer at the Everglades National Park. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.